In the previous lecture, I gave you an overview of the features and capabilities of the KiCad Project Manager window, which is this window here that opens up when you start KiCad. In this lecture, I want to walk you through the individual apps that make up the KiCad software suite. So you can access those apps in a couple of different ways. First, you can click on the buttons here in the project manager on the right side. Second, if you have a project already open, you can double click on the these two files that are the schematic and the PCB layout file and that will bring up the respective applications to see them and to view them. And you can also go under the tools menu and select the application that you want to start. And there's a shortcut here for them. I'm going to just use the project manager here and click on the buttons on the right side. So let's start with the schematic editor. So the schematic editor is this application right here that allows you to draw a schematic of the PCB. In KiCad, the PCB development process involves first creating a schematic and then converting the schematic into a layout. So this is where you typically will start with your work in any KiCad project. The schematic editor or EE schema is centered around objects like this one here. These are called symbols. So symbols come in a variety of shapes and sizes. You've got this one here as an example, which represents a clock and integrated circuit, but you've got passive components like a resistor, for example, that you see here. And you connect all of those using typically wires or things such as these, like a label up here instead of a wire. You can see that in this particular integrated circuit, U4, I've got pins that instead of using wires to connect to other pins, I'm using labels. So this is the schematic editor, which um, is the first step of the process. And then you will convert this schematic into a PCB layout. So let's go into, I'm going to skip the simple editor for now. I'm going to go into the PCB editor, which is a second very important and main app of the KiCad software suite. So click on that and that will bring up the layout editor with the layout of one of the projects in this course, which looks like this. So this is the actual PCB. You are going to be able to send the data for this PCB to an online manufacturer and have this PCB manufactured for you. And you can even represent it in the 3D viewer so you can see what this is going to look like eventually once it is manufactured. It is... Um, an impressive piece of software, in my opinion. Uh, it's very capable and over the years, KiCad has uh, improved a lot in, in the quality of the tools that are available to you to create PCBs. Uh, again, don't worry too much about the role of all of these buttons and, and features and drop downs and everything else that you see here. We're gonna spend a lot of time in the remainder of this course to explain exactly what is going on and how to connect these two main pieces of software in the KiCad software suite. So this is just an overview so that you know what is available and what's coming up. So um, to recap at this point, we've gone through the schematic editor and the PCB editor, but there is more. Let's go back to the KiCad project manager. And here you've got the symbol editor, which is another application that looks like EE schema, but this one is specifically designed to help you create your own custom symbols. So uh, most of the symbols that you see in, in this particular schematic as an example came from the KiCad schematic library, but uh, there is a possibility that the symbol that you're looking for does not exist in a library and you can't find it anywhere online. And there are a lot of sources of symbols online that work with KiCad. Let's say you can't, if you can't find exactly what you're looking for, you can create it yourself. So you can either modify an existing symbol to your needs or create a uh, symbol from scratch and you do that using the symbol editor and similarly to the symbol editor there is also the footprint editor 
So uh, click on the footprint editor in the KiCad project manager. Just wait for the footprints to finish loading because the footprint editor has its own footprint library. You can see it right here. So the idea with this is that if there is a footprint that you need for your PCB that does not exist, like here's an example of a integrated circuit. This is just a memory module. Let's say that you're dealing with a particular footprint that is not available in the footprint libraries that ship with KiCad or you can't find it from any other source, no problem at all. You can go ahead and create it yourself using the footprint editor. You can either create a footprint from scratch or you can modify a footprint from one of the existing footprints. I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got uh, lectures coming up where I show you how to create footprints and uh, symbols using their respective editor. So that's what the symbol editor and the footprint editor do. Next, let's have a look at the Gerber viewer. So the Gerber viewer is a application that allows you to inspect the Gerber files. Uh, so Gerber files is a standard file format uh, that allows you to order your PCB from an online manufacturer. So you can export these files from PCB new. There's a button here that allows you to do that. So you can see plot format is Gerber. I'm going to show you how to set up your plotter so that you can export the appropriate Gerber files with the appropriate configuration. So once you do that, you have your Gerber files here. And with the Gerber viewer, you are able to uh, have a look at those files and confirm that they are as you want them to be. And there is no error in them and that you have not perhaps uh, forgotten to export a particular Gerber file. So there's one for each layer of your design and you can use a Gerber file to do your last inspection before you send the Gerbers over to your manufacturer for manufacturing, which does cost money. So you want to ensure that everything is in order before you go on. So you can use the Gerber viewer for this purpose. I'll be using Gerber viewer in all of the projects in this course. So I'm going to explain exactly how to use this app. So that's the Gerber viewer. Then you've got the image converter. So let's have a look at this little app. So with this small application, you can actually create graphics. Or let me show you one that I've done earlier. So I'm going to use the 3D viewer for that. So if I flip my example board over, you see that I've got my logo right here. This logo started its life as a PNG graphic image, which I then converted into a bitmap image. And once I had this logo as a bitmap file image, then I was able to import it into the bitmap to component converter app that ships with KiCad and convert this image into a footprint once I have the footprint, then I can use it as a graphic element on my PCBs and just use it to do things such as decorate my PCB with a graphic, with a logo. Uh, you can see that there's another example here of uh, the KiCad logo, which was produced in the same way. So the bitmap to component converter is a simple tool that allows you to convert a bitmap graphic into a footprint that exists either in a silk screen or a, a copper layer or a solder mask layer. And I've got a lecture in the recipe section where I'll show you how to use the bitmap to component converter. All right, let's close that. I think there's one more. Yeah, there's a couple more. Uh, the next uh, tool is the calculator tool. So the calculator tool is a tool that contains multiple calculators so each one of those tabs gives you access to a different calculator. So for example, the first one gives you access to a calculator for voltage regulators. 
Then you've got a radio frequency attenuator calculator, uh, E-series calculator, color codes, etc. So you can you can use these calculators to calculate various values and then import those values into your schematic. Uh, there is no direct connection between uh, these calculators and any of the other applications. So this is like a standalone calculator application. Saves you from browsing around the internet for the same kind of calculations. And finally, we've got the drawing sheet editor. So let's uh, re size this window that popped up. So the drawing sheet editor allows you to create your own sheets. Uh, so the sheet in EE schema looks like this. And let's actually bring up the schematic editor and you can see it looks like this here. It's got a uh, frame in which contains your schematic and there's the label down here and the label contains various text placeholders and all of this is configurable using the uh, sheet editor so you can create your own design here for your KiCad sheet you can have your own uh, label text placeholders here and therefore customize your KiCad schematic editor Okay, and I'm going to leave it at that. So in this lecture, I did a quick overview of the individual applications that make up the KiCad software suite. In the next lecture, I'm going to take this one step further and have a look at the configuration paths window, this one here, and explain what these items are in here.